and welcome to Jess is Blessed. And I see that I have five new subscribers just today alone. I just wanna say welcome to everybody that's new to Jess is Blessed. Thank you so much for hitting that subscribe button. Make sure that you hit the notification button as well so that you're notified when I upload new videos. And today's topic, for those of you that are interested, is our trying to conceive update. We are on day 116 for trying to conceive. What? Oh my gosh, I can't, I just, I can't even, like, that's almost four months now. It's never, well, okay, let me take that back really quick. For my oldest son, it did take a year to conceive. However, I was extremely underweight and overworked and that contributed into why. But other than that, it's never taken me longer than two months to conceive, which I know I am incredibly blessed for. I'm not trying to... I know that's a huge blessing, but I am also just, I'm also just blown away. We're almost at four months. However, also we do have two toddlers. So to be completely honest, it's hard to find time to conceive a baby. It's hard to find time. Whereas with Gunner, when we were trying to conceive Gunner, we made it our full-time job. Like. It was a full-time job. We took that seriously. And then with Georgia, Gunner was still a very small baby and he slept through the night and slept in his crib. So no problem there. Now flash forward to today and having a three-year-old and a one-year-old who does not sleep through the night. Georgia still wakes up numerous times a night to nurse and it is nearly impossible to find time to create another little human being. So for those of you who don't know much about trying to conceive, you're really only working with about a seven day window per cycle. Cycles for women range anywhere from 20 days to 40 days or even more or even less. Women's cycles are very, very different. Therefore, women ovulate at different times, of course, on different cycle days, but the universal thing is that for most women, the egg only lives 12 to 24 hours and sperm live up to five days. Some people say seven days. So you're working with about a seven day window in any given cycle. My cycles are running anywhere from like 30 to 50 days right now because I am still breastfeeding. And so only having that seven day window every 30 to 50 days, you can see why we're already on day, month number four and yet we've only actually really had two opportunities so far to really actually try. Like two times where I knew it was the week and we actually were able to try and make it work. Now, I don't know if any of you guys saw my vlog from a couple, uh, about a week ago, where I thought I would be ovulating right after my husband's surgery. Well, I didn't actually end up ovulating, and I think I'm actually ovulating yesterday or today, I think. I'm, again, I'm not positive. Further complicating that is the fact that I ran out of my digital ovulation tests. My ovulation microscope broke and I have been terribly inconsistent about my basal body temperature just because the little ones keep losing my thermometers. I keep forgetting to take my temperature in the morning. And so what I'm working with right now is just cheap ovulation test strips. That's it. That's all that I am really working with at the moment, which is terrible, especially considering how terribly bad I want to be pregnant. But right now, to be honest, we don't have an extra $50 to spend on the digital ovulation tests. And there's a spider web on me. And there's also not an extra 30-ish dollars to spend on an ovulation microscope. Uh, on Amazon, they're about $30 now, and they used to be a lot cheaper than that, so I don't know what happened, but I really, really wish that I had those because those work very well for me and I am able to actually pinpoint ovulation. So two days ago, I thought I had a positive ovulation test. However, these are CVS brand ovulation test strips. They come in a little tube and there's 20 of them, I believe, 20. And anyway, they're not very good. They don't 
give a very dark line and I can't really tell if it's a positive or not. I've had some that they looked kind of dark, but they're, I'm not, I just don't know. So I thought that two days ago I had a positive, and so I thought that I would be ovulating yesterday or possibly today. And then I took a test yesterday and it was negative, like for sure negative. So I was like, okay, so I must have had my LH surge two days ago, and that always indicates you're going to ovulate within 12 to 36 hours. So then today, this afternoon, I took a test and it looks the most positive of any test that I've taken so far of this of this CVS brand. So I I just don't know. And then with my husband's surgery, uh, he's in a ton of pain and it's just not, at, at the moment, it's not very conducive to trying to conceive. I'm sure you guys understand where I'm coming from and what that situation is. So now I, I was thinking that we timed everything correctly, but now I'm not sure because if I really had my positive today, then that means I may not ovulate until tomorrow or the next day. But with the fact that sperm can live up to five days, we still would have a chance if I ovulate tomorrow or the next day. But we're working with one shot in the dark, if you know what I mean. And you know, like I said, with Gunner, it was like a full-time job. And so I'm not surprised we conceived him easily because we were working pretty hard at it. And um, sorry for TMI. I'm trying to make this as least TMI as possible, if not least, as little TMI as possible. The very nature of the subject is a lot of information. So anyways, what it boils down to is hopefully we made it this month. I don't know. And if my husband is feeling up to it, of course we will try again. And hopefully we will, you know, catch ovulation in here somewhere. But if he isn't feeling up to it, there's not a lot that I can do about it this month. And that's super frustrating for me. Uh, like last night, I almost just started crying just because it's so frustrating that I'm only ovulating every, you know, 40 days. So if we miss it, we have to wait another 40 days. And there's nothing that I can do right now. I mean, my husband hurts, he's in pain, he can't move. And so it's not like he's just flat out saying, you know, no, but there's nothing that I can do to help the situation. And it's just incredibly frustrating, especially when you want a child, you want another baby so badly and you know, it's just not happening for you. And I just, my heart goes out to the people that struggle with fertility problems because I can't even imagine. You know, my whole life has revolved around being a mother. All I ever wanted was to be a mom. And so for those people that cannot conceive one child, you know, I, I can't even imagine what that would feel like. So I know that I should, should be thankful for what I have. I should be thankful with the children that I have, and I am, and I am. But I hope that you guys can understand when, you know, when somebody wants another child, whether it's their second or their seventh, you know, the love is there, the love is in your heart, and you know that you can provide that for your child. You know that you are good, loving parents, and you know, you want you want to expand your family and so yeah it's just frustrating when it's not happening but oh well, that's basically everything I can think of with trying to conceive I'm in it though and so there might be things I'm missing that are like glaringly apparent to you guys so if I'm missing anything if you have any questions or if there's anything that's confusing to you like if there's anything you don't understand about trying to conceive, then please, you know, let me know down in the comments. Oh, one other thing I would like to touch on. There is also cervical position and cervical mucus. So for those of you that are going to comment about those, like, oh, Jess, you could be checking those. I do know about those and I do check those. However, I'm not super consistent about checking cervical position. And to be honest, it's not a topic that I'm super, super comfortable talking about on here. 
But if that's something you guys are really interested in learning more about, I could do an episode like basics of trying to conceive and just go over all of that for you guys because I would be more than happy to do that. I just don't know how many of you guys are interested in a, you know, trying to conceive video or if that's something like hardly any of you guys want. So just kind of let me know down in the comments what your thoughts are on the whole thing. And I was requested from several people to make a trying to conceive update. So I know there's many of you that probably are not even interested in the slightest about what is going on with our trying to conceive journey. But for those of you that are and that watch to this point, thank you so much for watching. Thank you for your interest and support in our family and for the prayers. And so I'm going to wrap this up with, as always, social media links, affiliate links, and Patreon links are in the description box below. Thank you to everyone who's been using those and signing up for Patreon. And I will see you guys very soon for the next video. So until next time, good night, goodbye, and stay blessed. Yeah, was there fireworks? They're not gonna get you. It's okay, honey. They're not gonna get you. We should. Oh. Now that is a big bug right there. Yeah, that one is a yellow jacket. That one is icky. Then squish it. Okay, Gun, do you want the bike? You can have the bike. Let let her have that one, you can have the bike. Gun, let her have the bike. Or er, go get the bike. Please.